Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Since Filament version 3, we are allowed to have multiple panels for our project. So for example, you have admin panel provider and then user panel provider. But what if you want to have single login form for both? So you wouldn't send different URLs to slash admin slash login and slash user slash login to different people. You would have just one URL for login form, which you refer to from your homepage or elsewhere in your emails or whatever communication. And then depending on the role of the user, they would be redirected to slash admin or slash user. How to implement that in Filament. And this is a video version of the text-based tutorial from our Filament example, a free tutorial, single login page for admin user role. So we keep posting free tutorials on filamentexamples.com so you can check out the homepage and see other tutorials we published. Now, in the code, one of the options you may choose is choose one of those login forms, admin or user, to be the primary one and then just not use the other one. So for example, we chose slash user slash login as a form, but then if someone goes to admin login that doesn't even exist. Let me demonstrate further how it works. So in the admin panel provider here, you don't see login here by default. In the user panel provider, the login is present. So basically you send the URL slash user slash login to anyone. And then what you need to do is override two files with responses to the login, which is login response. So you can create a custom class wherever you want, which extends the base login response. I called it from filament, this one. I created it in app HTTP responses folder. So there are two files, login response and logout response. I will show the logout in a minute, but basically you need to override the to response method and redirect wherever you need according to the logic. For example, in this case, in the database, we have two users, admin user and test user. And for simplicity, we just have is admin one or zero as a column without any roles and permissions. And this is exactly what we're checking here. If admin, then redirect to dashboard from panel name admin. By the way, did you know that filament allows you to get the URLs with these parameters? Panel is one of the parameters. Otherwise, we just return everything as it was in the user login response, the default parent. So now if I try to log in with admin, admin admin com, I'm redirected to slash admin. But if I sign out and go to login with user user com, I'm in the user dashboard. So we took care of the login response, but we also need to take care of the logout response. Let's take a look. If you don't do that, then the admin that would log out would be redirected to slash admin slash login, which doesn't exist. So we need to override that as well. So again, you create a class that extends the response from filament, this one, logout response, and then you override the two response and we check the ID of the panel, another kind of side tip, how filament allows you to get the ID of the panel. And if we do detect that it's admin, then we'll redirect to the user login URL page. If you don't do that, let me demonstrate. Let's comment that out. And we are login as admin and I click sign out. I will get to route login not defined. So to avoid that error, we need to override the logout response as well. And also we need to register those response classes in the app service provider of Laravel like this, the array of singletons. So login response from filament is resolved by our custom login response and similar logout response. So yeah, what do you think about this approach? Would you have done something differently? Or maybe if you approached the same thing in another way, let's share your experience in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.